Today we're going to be doing the three essential water tests that need to be done prior to the opening of the swimming pool and that need to be done every three hours thereafter. So the tests we're going to be doing today are our free chlorine and our total chlorine and then we take those two vigors to work at our combined chlorine and the other test we'll be doing is our pH level. Firstly, main thing is there is no PPE equipment requirement for doing this task. The equipment we'll be using today is we'll be using the photometer and then the, our temp chemical test tablets here. So here we have our XF, this is for our free chlorine. We have our XT, which gives us our total chlorine. And then we have our phenyl red, which will give us our pH. So here in advance, I've got tablets from each of these boxes out ready. Further stocks of these are kept in the refrigerator in the main office. So the first thing we need to do is get our water sample. I've got this one earlier and we'll be making a video on how to collect the water sample as well in this series. So first step, take our syringe, take some water, and then we fill the test tube up to this line here. We then take our test tube and place it into the pallium test, ensuring that this diamond mark here is lined to the front. We then take the cap, put it on the pallium test, and then we turn it on by using this button here. So the first step we need to do is to set the level. So we hit button number one and then hit OK. We've inserted the blank and then we hit OK again. Now that we've set the level, we need to insert the test. So what we do is remove the test tube from the impaling test. So remove the cap, remove the test tube. Then we get our XF tablets, which we use for free chlorine. And we're gonna place one into the test tube. What we do is break open the packet and then place the tablet into the test tube, making sure we don't touch it with our fingers. Righto, so then we take our tablet crusher, put it in the test tube and make sure that we have all this tablet crushed up and dissolved. Once we're happy that we've crushed up the entire tablet, we take our test tube and place it back into the photometer palin test, once again, making sure that we've lined up that diamond. And then we push number one again, comes up, exert sample, and we hit OK. And we've got a reading of 3.3. So then we're going to take the sample out and we're now going to add our XT tablet which will help us come up with our combined chlorine and our total chlorine. So we take our XT tablet. Once again, breaking one out of the blister pack, making sure we don't touch it with our hands place it into the test tube. We then get our sample water, just give our crusher a bit of a, a wash, and then we crush this tablet up as well. So as before, once it's all crushed, we place it back into the pallium test with the diamond to the front we then put our cap back on. We're now going to do for our total chlorine, so we push button number two. We then hit the OK button. We now need to let it 
dissolve and react, so we let it stand for two minutes. So our two minutes is up. So as we said before, we're doing number two test and we hit the OK button. And that gives us a reading of 3.6. At this point, that concludes the tests for chlorine in the swimming pool. All we need to do is empty the test tube and clean it. Right, so now we've completed our two chlorine tests. We've done our free chlorine and we've done our total chlorine. From these two figures, we can work out our combined chlorine. So if you remember, the first test we did, our free chlorine, we got a level of 3.30. The next test we did, which was our total chlorine, we got a read of 3.60. So what we do now is we take our free chlorine level, which was 3.30, and subtract it from our total, which was 3.60, which gives us a combined chlorine level of 0.30. The good thing with the results we've got today is they all fit well within the Northern Territory government's requirements. Our chlorine levels must be between two parts per million and 10. And we had 3.3 and 3.6. Our combined chlorine level should be as low as possible and should not get over one. And we got 0.3, so that's an excellent result. Rightio, so the final test we have to do now is our pH level and we're looking for a level between 7.2 and 7.8. The process is very similar to the processes we've done for our previous two tests. We take a test tube, once again, fill it up to the line. So now that we've already set the levels on our pallium test from our previous test, we don't need to redo that. What we now do is get our fennel red tablet. We take one of these and once again, trying not to use our fingers, break the blister pack and place it in the test tube. As before, we just need to crush it up. Once we've satisfied we've crushed it all up, we then once again place it in the pallium test, making sure the diamond is to the front. And now the test we're going to do is for pH. So we push this button here, which is number six. And then we press OK. And we've got a reading of 7.7 which is well within the range we're required to hold the pH at, which is 7.2 to 7.8. So that concludes the essential water test that we need to do each time we open the swimming pool and once every three hours thereafter. So to finish up, all we need to do, remove the test, empty it out, clean the test tubes, and then pack all our stuff away back into the fridge.